Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to check out the work of Victor Titov. 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 Um, he's a co-founder and an art director at Graphit Studio. Um, he's based in Moscow, Russia, um, and I think he sells like a lot of reference packs. Um, so I do recommend you check out his store. Um, wait, does he have a Gumroad? Not sure. I think so. I think he does have a, a Gumroad. By the way, I will be linking. All of his links in the description below oh yeah i think he does have a gumroad um and he actually does like two main things i've noticed in his channel or in his um, art station um it's either he does like pencil or any kind of grayscale sketch and it's either that or he does like splash art i think those are the two main things that that is kind of a uh, good at or great at right but if you want more of his sketches, I do recommend you, you follow him on his Instagram. Just because that's where he um, posts more of his sketches, right? And I do like the way he does his uh, women. Very, very sensual, right? And he does have that biological kind of look. Like, he, he adds certain natural forms to the figure, right? Similar to, like, the Xenomorph kind of uh, design. Well, for the Xenomorph design, it's more of, like, an organic slash mechanical kind of a mix but uh it feels like victor is using more or oh, using more natural kind of forms like animalistic kind of forms like horns or kind of vines or kind of eels right so it's to me it's, that's way more um organic right anyway so when it comes to his painting because again, he, he either does like paintings or he does like pencil sketches or kind of grayscale paintings. His paintings, like his splash art stuff, actually looks like, well, splash art. Like it's so presentable, it's so kind of high quality. Not a lot of texture, I've noticed for splash art. They kind of like to keep it clean, right? Maybe a bit of texture here and there, but it's not like super strong. It's, um, and it's pretty like refined to the T. Like this is a type, it's marketing artwork basically, right? And I love the way he does his everything, really, just because it looks... Um, he does stylized stuff, obviously, just because it's... I'm guessing it's the project requirements, but... The way it's kind of lit, it looks very realistic, right? The only thing that's making it kind of stylized is the... Um, the the proportions obviously and the 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 uh, the, the design <laughs> fuck the, the design right but if you kind of zoom in you can see how refined the everything is the edge control is amazing the suggestion of the horn texture is kind of there right and again even it's pretty smooth you can see a bit of texture here but that's pretty much it i'm not sure how long paintings like this would take but it's very very impressive right now this one's done with like a one by one kind of crop ratio, so um, that's kind of interesting. So he does like a lot of pencil sketches, grayscale sketches, and he likes to kind of mix women with a bunch of organic forms, sometimes skulls, sometimes mushrooms in this case, right? And they look rather interesting and very, very magical, I would say. Um, and they look kind of, they look so good, right? Um, they're way more slender compared to, say, my input woe. My input woe's, um, babes are way thicker because he likes them thick. Um, no judgment. You know, I accept all sizes. <laughs> For as long as, you know, it's, you know, within the range of acceptability, right? Um, and he does, like, a lot of pencil sketches. So he's more of a traditional guy. And obviously, sometimes he'll maybe bring it to Photoshop or he'll just start in Photoshop, right? And he does have, like, he, he is pretty good at stylizing certain concepts where they look kind of cartoony, right? Now, this is pretty cool. It's a pretty clean kind of line sketch, but uh, it's uh, it looks cool in terms of the pose. And he even used the wings and the tail as part of the, as part of its own composition, right? It looks really good. It's not, it's a... Uh, it's more of a rendering, like a... It's not a full painting, right? Like this one. Oh shit, there's no paintings here. This one's more of a pencil rendering, right? This trick. 
This one's kind of a rendering as well. Anyway, uh, this was pretty high quality too, right? The organic forms, the horse kind of skull, lots of kind of um, ornaments. It, it looks like part armor in some parts, right? Uh, this was pretty cool though. It has a kind of soft. Well, no, it's not. It's more aggressive than soft, so that's kind of interesting. Because usually, because usually when you like paint or draw women. It has to be kind of soft, but this one, just because of the design of the head, maybe, and the pointiness of the wings, it looks kind of aggressive, right? So that's kind of nice. Some more pencil sketches here. Um, I love the... He's pretty good with drawing, like, faces, like, really pretty faces, right? And he has kind of, like, the same face that he kind of pulls and pushes around in terms of proportions, but they generally have the same kind of anatomy, facial kind of structure, right? And they're often slender also. Long necks, long legs. I love this kind of side view. Oof. Again, he's adding some kind of branchy. They're more like vines or roots, right? He kind of likes to mix both. Um, and it really shows in his like designs, right? This is pretty cool. Reminds me of the work of, what's his name? Uh, Nikolik? Something? Um... His designs are also very kind of natural looking. Now this one's kind of a part uh, gorilla and part octopus. Look at the way it's rendered, right? In pencil form. And that's amazing. This, this one's more of a some kind of zombie warrior god. Oh yeah. And these are his slaves maybe trying to offer him like a bunch of dead skulls or heads. Interesting. And this is another example of his splash art kind of style. I do like the fact that he does show his, um, not just his kind of thumbnail um, sketches, trying to find the right composition, but also the color and kind of steps involved, right? And I do like how it tends to, a lot of splash art kind of looks the same, which I get. Like, it, you have to kind of meet a certain kind of standard, right? But... Uh, so a bunch of lats, rendering, more rendering highlights, some bunch of lighting effects, and then more effects with the smoke and particles. So it's a pretty standard um, process, but you do have to be very... Um, I'm not sure how long these would take, but... Shit. It's a League of Legends kind of splash art, right? Ah, it looks so high quality, right? It could actually be like a screensaver, wallpaper, right? So these are a bunch of his, um, let me just have a sip of coffee here. Uh. Some more character studies, I think. These are some of his portrait sketches. Um, according to the description, it's about 30 to 70 mi minutes, minutes, minutes each. Um, oh, if you want to see his process, he does have like a couple of tutorials on his Gumroad, so no worries. Um, yeah, this one's, uh, you, you can hardly see the line sketch. Maybe he just kind of deleted it eventually, but it it's look it looks a bit flat. Um, it has that kind of gouache-like approach where it's heavy on the shapes. Kind of like this one, right? Here you can see he's using some kind of brush with like a soft edge. Um, looks good. And he does stylize the face a bit here. He kind of likes to mix a bunch of sharps in his work, right? Even when it comes to like his women, it's not always going to be smooth. Sometimes he'll like sharpen some of the the corners. Um, the, this one is like a the, the definition of a Chad, <laughs> like a Viking, right? Reminds me of Thor a bit, right? Look at the, the it, it, oh, it's obviously stylized. You can tell by the proportions, but um, it looks good. Uh, a bit of texture in the beard. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, he does have like a nice braid here, but damn. Fucking Chad over here. Look at those cheekbones. Oof. And each and, and again, it does have the gouache like approach, right? Very, very opaque. And I guess he likes to layer his, uh, like he'll do a pencil sketch and then he'll do like a, he'll kind of, you know, like block out his uh, rendering painting process, right? Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It's a girl mouse? 
would this be classified as furry art? Um, I guess so, because she does have like fur a bit. Grumpy looking dude. Uh, look at those forms, right? Nicely rendered. Look at the edge control. Amazing. Oh, look at the reflected lighting in the bottom of the horns, right? Even in this part of the, the head, right? Oof. I mean, look at the facial structure. It looks good as fuck. I mean, right? And the facial expression, it obviously helps, you know, add to the whole impact of the uh, the piece, right? Nice side profile. Look at those cheekbones, like, giga chat over here. Very, very masculine proportions, right? Oh, he's using the same kind of um, a bit of texture, texture in some parts, but he likes to use a kind of gradient brush. I call it the gradient brush, where it's often a flat brush with kind of a soft edge. Um, now here he's using a more of a texture brush, right? So this one is some kind of Celtic dude, right? Um, and you can see the like, like the the smooth kind of pencil sketch underneath, right? And again, look at the sharpness of it. It's not. It, it is kind of realistic in terms of the lighting, but the proportions are kind of uh, cartoonized a bit, or cartooned. Is that a word? Fuck. Uh, again, his women stuff, amazing. A bit of texture near the eyes and in the uh, cheeks. Very very harsh edges here. Ooh la la. I love the simplification of the hair, it's just like a silhouette, and then he just painted within that. Um, I'm guessing he used a bit of a mixer brush in some parts, who knows. Um, texture in the top part of this babe, right? But again, look at the edge control, right? Especially when it comes to his faces, right? The way the lips are painted, some parts are kind of slightly smooth, and there's usually way more sharper edges for him, I think. Um, look at how he softened up this part right here in the nose, right? And look at how the eyes are very, very sharp and clear. Right? The cheeks here are very soft, really brings out the femininity of this babe, right? The clavicles are, su are suggested, right? Amazing. Look at the earrings. Fuck. Am I right? Now this guy is some grumpy dude. Reminds me of one of the characters in the Mandalorian um, series. The one with Bilber in it. Uh, there's this kind of bad guy with the... Uh, who looks like some kind of demon, right? Again, not a lot of texture. You can see a bit of texture in the background uh, c that comes with the brush, but that's pretty much it. His work tends to become smooth whenever he does paint. Now, this one does have texture in the hair and it, in the background, but that's pretty much it. Um, and I do like the fact that he does like a lot of studies. I mean, eventually you're going to get good at this sort of thing anyway, just by doing a bunch of like paintings and drawings, right? I mean, look at the face. It reminds me, it looks a bit like Rihanna, right? A bit. Nice hair here. Look at those horns. Oof. So mean looking. Even the horns go along with her ears, her elf ears, right? Oof. It's pretty hot. Um, look at the softness here of the cheek. Look at the shadow here. Oof. That's kind of casted by her um, brow line, right? Oof. She has a kind of mean look. Ooh, bitchy. Um, bitch face. Um, but, uh, look, look at the bottom lighting here. It's a bit yellow, orange. There's, there's something coming, or there, there's some kind of light source perhaps from the bottom, or if not, she's standing in some kind of sand or carpet that's making her, or just giving off this kind of orange kind of under lighting, right? Uh, a bit of texture in the hair, texture, but very, very sharp and strong shapes. Um. I think whenever you're trying to learn anatomy or facial stuff or anything really, um, I think a great shortcut would be, excuse me, to um, a great shortcut would be to use or approach things with or in terms of shapes. Um, I do recommend the work of Adam Hughes because even when he does his babes, you can see him like do like thumbnail sketches beforehand. You kind of figure out certain parts. And he'll actually think of like the main silhouette in terms of its shape and then he'll render within that. The rendering is what makes it realistic but the overall shape sometimes it looks kind of graphical. Very very similar to my input wall. Um, anyway, side note, look at this babe is amazing. I love it when babes have like horns, kind of like a zero two and the darting of the fangs. Uh, 
it's kind of becoming a fetish of mine. Not really, but um, it's there. It's becoming one. Um, oh, he's using the same kind of gradient brush. Um, not a lot of t not a lot of texture, texture, texture. Um, pinks, purples. Um, I love the eyes, right? Look at how there's even a shadow in the eyes, right? Coming from that kind of eyelid or that top part of the eye, right? The edge control is amazing, right? The nose is super clear, the mouth, the lips, he likes the lips kind of thick, oof. Some kind of Asian dude, um, this, uh, some kind of light source, though this one, there is some kind of light source, maybe some kind of lantern perhaps, some kind of torch. It's a moonlit scene, um, and you can tell so much by just the way it's kind of lit, right? About the environment, right? Some kind of old dude, a bit of texture, texture, but that's pretty much it. It's more kind of graphical, it's more shape heavy, it's more kind of stylized a bit, right? And very opaque. He doesn't like to use like a bunch of opacity heavy kind of brushes where it's uh, where you have to build up the paint. It is more kind of direct. He kind of couples that with a graphical approach, right? Like very shape heavy, right? Now this chick remind oh this kind of drawing here reminds or painting reminds me a bit of Evan Lee because he likes to often leave the, these sorts of gestural lines. Sometimes he'll even do it after the actual kind of painting, just to make it more artsy, I guess. But I do like the kind of look. So this kind of reminds me of that sort of uh, style by Evan Lee, right? Oh, nice muscular dude. Look at look at look at the uh, the, the expression of the face, right? And you can see it in the eyes. Mm. A bit of fat here. Reminds me of that dude in shit. What's his name? Uh, I can't remember his actual name, but he was in the the Black Panther film, the bad the bad guy, right? He has a similar kind of mouth structure where you can see a bit of. I'm not sure if it's fat, right? But it looks cool. And look at those traps. This guy is thick. Uh, I have to work out. <laughs> nice night here. Very very uh, exaggerated forms. It's stylized, but I do like the fact that he suggested the, uh, what's, what's this called, the, um, god, uh, the chainmail, right? And look at the reflection of the armor, of the helmet, right? So it's good to actually have reference with you, right? And look at how he suggested the, the slight kind of beard here. It's not a beard, it's a, uh, it's, when it's about to become one, I can't really, I can't really super, you know, relate, because I can only grow, like, a, a little bit. I like to be clean w with my face just because it's it fits me better. Um, a redhead, pretty hot. Again, you can see those pencil strokes. He likes to leave them in, especially for his studies. And it actually does look cool. Look at the way he does. Like This whole shadow is like connected, right? And with just that one, and, and the value is kind of the same, but it kind of helps define the entire or most of the structure of the face, right? And then from there, you just have this other shadow shape here for the other kind of part of the eye socket. And then you have the neck part. Um, look at how he's using, he's using the same kind of gradient brush with that, a flat brush with a soft edge on one side, right? Again, very graphical shapes here. Very stylized, but look at the nose. It looks pretty. He likes to make the eyes slightly bigger. That's obviously his style and the lips are obviously thicker as usual. Um, so we have a step-by-step -step thing here, line sketch, very, very strong, sharp edges here. It, it even makes more sense if he's uh, drawing a dude, right? Just because it's going to make it more masculine, right? Maybe he did like a sketch beforehand, a very rough one to kind of just lay out the major um, area. And then he did like a more refined, it's a loose, it's still a loose, but it's kind of like a sharp kind of a line sketch, right? So underpainting here, just adding in the flats, I would call this still the flats. And he did kind of use a deeper, slightly, slightly darker value for the nose and the ears, just, just because that's where the blood usually flows, um, especially if you have like light skin, right? Or if you have like, especially like, um, I guess Caucasian type of skin, because it, it, you can see more of the reds, I think, right? A nice beard here. Um, suggestion of the baldness, but you can still see a bit of that here. So maybe he just kind of recently shaved, right? Um, and then from there, uh, oh, he started adding the shadows, kind of sculpting it, right? So maybe he added a new layer and then he started to kind of sculpt the nose, 
add a bit of weight to the beard. This guy has a nice beard, right? And uh, yeah, even the ears have a bit of shadow in them. Um, and from there, he kind of refined things even more by adding a few light spots, right? Defining that 3Dness even more, right? And that's it. That's a nice kind of study. And his brushwork is, again, not that complicated. He likes to use that same kind of flat brush with a soft edge on one side. With a bit of, with, with a bit of texture. Texture? Texture for the beard and this kind of light spot here, right? But that's pretty much it. Baby Yoda. Some more splash art. Um, nice demon chick. Oh, I love the way this one was rendered. It looks more textured, like this babe. Um, it's still kind of smooth, but she is cute as hell. Um. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> uh, okay, so that he does have like a couple of uh, thumbnail sketches. I mean, even his thumbnail sketches look amazing, though. And they already have that kind of smoothness to them. So, right? And all of them actually look good. So now it's about picking the right one, right? So I think he picked this one, maybe, right? Or shit, he, he picked this one and then kind of fixed a couple of things. And then, yeah. Let's see the GIF. Um, shit, come on, speed it up. Oh shit. So there's no GIF? Anyway. Yeah, awesome splash art here. Very, very smooth. Not a lot of texture. You can actually see a bit of blur in the background, right? For stuff like this, for paintings or illustrations like this, it really helps if you can layer things properly. And um, obviously, it's not the only thing that you should be good at. Um, the, the rendering process is just intense here. I mean, look at the, re the refinement of everything. The highlights, the shadows, the multiple light sources being reflected everywhere, right? From the sword, from the sky, from the moonlit kind of sky, right? Damn. Amazing. Some more pencil sketches. Look at how it's kind of very bionic in nature, right? Very kind of organic. Organic. Same thing for his women. Now this is pretty cool. It, it looks like splash art in ink form. Christ, look at the way he did this whole um, power effect thing, right? So we have an eel here, um, crushing this dude, right? Or babe? Who knows? I love the eel design. Looks very, very aggressive, especially with the face. But it still looks very fluidy, like it actually belongs in water, right? So more of a skull, babe. With a couple of skulls. Um, I'm not sure if these two are dead or maybe she's kind of scolding them for being, you know, annoying or something. Um, very, 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 very long limbs, right? I love the rendering style here. And yeah, look at the look at those knees though. Ah, oh, well done. This is some kind of aquatic starfish, babe. Right? And we have a whale. Um, I love the waves. How, how the water was done. Pretty cool. And this was done, I think, traditionally. Jesus Christ. So this guy is pretty talented. So, I mean, he's obviously skilled, but, you know, it, yeah. <laughs> Some more splash art. Um, Wizards of the Coast. Not sure what that thing is, but, you know. Reminds me a bit of the work of uh, Peter Moherbaker. He has one design where it's a... It's kind of like a... It's a very similar to this one, right? It's kind of like Groot, you know, the... The, the plant character in the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Am I right? So we have more babes here. Let's just scroll up a bit. Sorry about that. Um, Look at how smooth they are. And again, these are pencil sketches, right? Uh, so they're female fantasy creature designs. Um, they were done with pencils and markers. And this one is pretty cool, right? 
Look at the pose. The foreshortening of the arm, the forearm and the hand. Oh my god. Even the way the horns were done. I feel like this arm was a bit too big because it's supposed to be like further away. Maybe a bit. Because they're kind of the same size. If you look at this hand and this hand, it's too kind of close. Maybe this ought to be slightly smaller, but... Look at that bit of like a uh, uh, muscle here. That's kind of squished, right? You can see the rib cage here indicated, the boobs. And the boobs are actually set a bit lower. Sometimes I would do them pretty high. And then I would obviously make them like super like spherical and round, almost, you know, like fake. <laughs> so there's a bit of, you know, it helps doing a lot, a lot of like study, studies, right? Just because it's going to show up a lot in your work, that kind of realisticness, right? Or re realism, fuck me. And look at that arc in the back. Very, very amazing. I'm turned on. Um, some more babes here. Now this one, he, he does use marker. But again, look at the, the look, look at those organic forms, right? A bit of aggression because of, of the nails and the sharp points, but it's still rather soft and feminine. Uh, he likes skulls. I've noticed that that he likes skulls and horns. Um, ah, what wonderful pencil sketch here. He did spend a bit more time with the hair, you can tell, <laughs> and the face, obviously. He likes eels as well. So he likes slimy stuff as well, so, you know, I think I think when it comes to my um, women art, I think I can use or look up to Victor. I think we have the same tastes. <laughs> I also like the work of, shit, Elisa or something? She has, like, wonderful pencil sketches as well. And they're very, very gestural, right? Um, and, I, and I do like the way she does use the... Uh, the the pencil stump in her rendering pretty cool looking artwork um anyway so more organic stuff more horns oh she's kind of chained up some kind of slave perhaps um you can see the marker rendering here right with a bit of ink right uh pencil sketch awesome beautiful horns right it's a quick sketch but look at how he draws the uh, the form of the horns like he draws around the horn right damn so these ones they do have like eels or she has like eels and octopus tentacles the tentacles are always a good thing for all my cultured people out there <laughs> Uh, this one, she's kind of an elf, you can tell by the ears, or fairy, maybe. And again, organic kind of forms. It kind of goes along with the tree that, or branch, that she is um, sitting on, right? Even, it's these are kind of tattoos, maybe. Um, and the anatomy is there, you know, it's not like super complicated, but it makes sense. It's semi-realistic, right? One day. Look at the first, uh, the first short, uh, first, not for shortening, the, the core shadow. Oof. Even the way the shadow was done here, right? You can tell the edge. So it, it has like clean line work here. You can tell it's like a solid kind of line or contour line. Sometimes it's a, it's more of like a pencil rendering approach where the shading or the values are more apparent than the actual line or contour line, right? And he did spend more time with the face and with this kind of head design. I really like the way he does his horns. They're very, very organic, and there's so much in the specific horn, right? It's not just like the main shape. The main shape, or the main kind of silhouette of the horns look cool, but it's what's within that that makes it even cooler, right? Um, and again, the faces look rather pretty, so... Amazing. He does exaggerate the, the proportions a bit, you can tell, but, you know, it looks... It still looks amazing to me. Um, Ooh, grayscale painting, very very smooth. Uh, more portrait studies. Uh, right, right. A very very strong looking, a very very realistic way of painting. Right, you, you you can tell by the face. There's so many subtle like value. It, it it has a big value range. So that's pretty cool. A bit more texture involved here, especially in the background. It's more for it's more of an artistic kind of thing. 
nice facial structure here. And again, the designs often that's kind of attached to the face looks amazing. Look at the how the skin is kind of breaking off. Whoa. Again, horn designs. Look at the rendering approach of this. Um, fairy demon chick. Pretty hot. And you can tell this transfers to his more full paint, fully painted stuff like his splash art, right? Um, wow, very very soft. I love the lighting here. There's some. She's kind of in an environment that's kind of maybe in some kind of um. There's some kind of thing blocking the light, and it adds so much to this story. Like she's kind of um hiding maybe, or there's a bit of mystery going on here, right? Look at the face design. Looks so cool. Christ. Uh, looks a bit like um, Hermione a bit, right? <laughs> pretty weird. Oh, this one's pretty nice. It's very, very soft. Um, great study. Kind of, she's more of like a fairy, I'm guessing. Or aquatic creature, maybe. Uh, this chick has the same kind of approach as this dude on top. Um, a bit more texture in the background. Even in the actual kind of character, right? There's a bit of texture in it. Uh, maybe he did kind of sharpen it in the end, but the grayscale paintings, I think you could learn a lot just by learning how to paint in grayscale, because you can always add color later on, right? And it actually kind of helps you save time, because if you include color in your practice session, sometimes it kind of takes too long. So, you know, you could check out his um, studies here and try doing some more grayscale paintings or studies, right? Some more splash art, right? Splash art. And look at how it's only like 10 to 20% of the painting that's actually very, very refined, right? And these claws here and the head design, right? So these are sirens done for the myth book. A bunch of studies. Look at the gesture. Look at the, the flowiness of these characters right here, of these sirens, right? And then look at the way he rendered them. Whoa. Oh, this guy is dead. Um. Oh, look at the pose of this babe. Ugh. But the, the rendering is super realistic and it actually feels like they're underwater. Um, and I do like the glowing... Uh, where is that tentacle coming from? Oh no. Um, but yeah. Right? Maybe he does like a lot of figure drawing stuff. Oh yeah, I think he does sell um, a lot of uh, yeah he does sell like a lot of reference packs. So I do recommend if you're you know want to practice your figure drawing, figure, figure painting, check out one of his um, or any of his um, packs. Splash art again. Great grayscale thumbnails here, and then he picked uh, this. This character reminds me of, I know this is more of a fantasy thing, uh, but it reminds me of, it's for LOL, I think, League of Legends, but the whole glowing card thing reminds me of the anime um, Fire Force. Uh, one of the dudes there had, re really likes using kind of cards for his kind of fire powers and shit. Um, <laughs> Some more splash art here. Um, done for the Magic of the Gathering or Magic the Gathering board game, right? Oh, it's the same kind of siren design, I think. Or... Uh, yeah. Again, look at how the soft... Look at how soft it is. Sorry, right? Great edge control here, and look at the, the rendering is super realistic. He's not only good with the actual anatomy part and the design aspect of it, but the way he, he paints stuff is super kind of... fine. Look at those eyes, so small. That nose is super cute, and look at the, those lips. Damn. Again, with a long neck. Kind of like my neck, I have a long neck. Um, anyway. So these are um, a few more daily sketches of his. These are more cartoonish, but you can still tell. Um, he likes the organic kind of forms, right? They're kind of, this one's kind of like crab-like, you can tell by the spikes, right? 
Um, a lot of natural looking stuff here. Um, I'm guessing he's using some kind of marker for the rendering, right? Damn, look at that creature design. He can pretty much do anything, but he does have a fascination for babes. For his personal work, probably. Uh, he, he can do splash art, he can also do creature designs, right? Very, very well-rounded dude, and I do recommend you follow him on ArtStation. Uh, he does have an Instagram as well, I think, too. Um, and he also has a YouTube channel. He, uh, I think he only has like three videos at the moment, but uh, I do recommend you still subscribe there just in case, you know, if he posts something. Um, and yeah, also check out his Gumroad or in his art station, he has a store so you can buy some of his um, reference packs, I think, there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this art review of Victor Titov. Titov. Um, thank you for watching, keep drawing, keep painting, and stay free.